Hello everyone, welcome back to What's On. And today's going to be different and interesting because not only are we doing a movie commentary, or commentary on a film that I haven't seen in like over five years and completely forgot about outside of a few key scenes, but we're not just doing this with two people today. We have got three joining us. I am joined today by my great friend here, Lennon. By the way, that was wrong. Not three people, two people. You're joined by two people. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Today I am joined by two people. My great friend here, Lennon. Yo, how's it going? And welcoming today a new guest host joining us, Flower. Hello. <laughs> and today's movie, you saw the title, it's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and this is actually all flowers idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, a bit of a quick summary for you, mate. What's yeah. your what's your passion behind this? Why why did you choose this movie? So this is my favorite horror film ever to this day. Uh, I watch it at least once a year on Halloween normally, and With all the lights off, yeah. alone in your room. Yeah, yeah, always alone, <laughs> always alone, and. Um, it still freaks me out every time I watch it, and that's my that's the reason why it's my favourite. Because I haven't seen a lot of films, so especially long. ones made during when this was made in the seventies, quite dated now. And you watch them, they're not scary; they're more funny. Um, whereas this one, I think, holds up. Yeah. Mm. And it is, uh, it's got a good use of practical effects and yeah. the old. Style Although I will say, slashes. before we watch it, that the director Tobe Hooper, uh, until his death. Um, insisted that this was a black comedy. So <laughs> if you see any comedy in this, let me know. I've, I've comedy. never found it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I get. We'll find the comedy in it. He insisted that it was never a horror film. It was a black what, what a sadistic man. <laughs> <laughs> black comedy. Well, okay, that's 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 surprising, and that's going to be something to get him out for. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. For, for me, I mean, I saw this like during my college days, so. I'm familiar, and I'm, I mean, who doesn't know Texas Chainsaw Massacre? And yeah, if you're yeah. a fan in general of just horror, especially slashers, it's mm -hmm. the like if you're thinking about slashers, it's usually Leatherface or Jason. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's one of the two, and Leatherface is just, I think, way more iconic than Jason. In a way, yeah, he's up there. He's up there with the likes of Michael Myers and Freddy, but at the same time, I he's also Michael Myers was a yeah, yeah he's, he's like. like... Yeah, definitely in the top three. Yeah, yeah, I completely <laughs> forgot about him actually. Just yeah. <laughs> and Freddy, Freddy was pretty. I feel like Leatherface actually gets underlooked. He always gets left out of the top three. It's normally Michael, Jason, and Freddy. Yeah, yeah, and then, you're right actually. Yeah, so I feel he actually gets underlooked. Mm. In the, uh, in the when movie. I think of slasher like monster, though, I think first uh, Leatherface. Oh yeah, he, he just comes to mind because mm. I feel like his actual costume is so iconic. I think the yeah the imagery definitely sells. I mean, a chainsaw alone is terrifying, but to have someone with a face as like crazy and grotesque as his, just from human skin. Yeah, yeah, and also I think it helps the fact that he's based off from memory here at least memory. He's based off a real killer apparently. Mm -hmm. Ed, uh, oh, what's his name? Ed Neil. Ed, Ed Neil was his name. He used to make masks out of women's faces. Oh yeah, which is where they got the inspiration for that. He never he never killed anyone with a chainsaw though. So that bit um no, that bit they had it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, regardless, we're gonna be in for quite a movie. Yes. And again, I haven't seen this in years, so I'm pretty much going in completely blind outside of a few key scenes that I vaguely remember. So apologies if I don't have much many interesting facts to to, to bounce off of, but I'm sure you'll that's what you're here for. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was spring to time, though, I hope so. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Everyone, you know the drill. I'll count down to three, and then I'll say go. And on go, we all press play together, and we'll all begin watching the film. Okay. Three, two, one, go. It's been a very, very long time since I've seen this. I can't remember the last time I watched it either. Would have been last Halloween, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah.
Gotta say, good voice. Yeah, that's a good narrative. That man right there got paid with a joint (laughs) for doing that. He didn't get money, he got given weed for that part. Wow. Fun fact for you there. (laughs) Damn, it must have been some really good weed. (laughs) (laughs) Doesn't have to be that good. This was a very low budget film. This was just a bunch of very young. I guess you could say inexperienced. A lot of the time, the logo is the best, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, usually. Focus more on the writing than they do the cinematography. Mm. Oh, this, this is this a, is, a, is that a camera? Yeah, that is, yeah, like yeah. The flash. Beep. Yeah, that's a signature part of the franchise, isn't it? Kind of yeah. like um, Jason. This is, this is brought back quite off, quite a bit. Yeah, like Jason's. <laughs> Or Freddy's gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, that's kind of growing on the ears, actually. <laughs> oh, have you seen bad days? <laughs> <clears throat> Imagine walking into that. <laughs> mm. Especially when you're going to a cemetery. Yeah. He's filmed in a real cemetery, but I believe. Was this film's I mean title of course, this is set in Texas. Was was this filmed in Texas? It was filmed in Texas, yeah. Well they didn't have that much of a budget, they couldn't really go outside of it. A very, very hot Texas, but we'll get back to that later. I'll talk about that in another scene. Oh how, no. How hot it was. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm already imagining the the, the pain. Blistery. <laughs> I mean, I I visited Rome last year, and I'm like, that was a pain of itself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was lovely, but goddamn, it was hot. <laughs> oh, this has been so long since I've seen this. It's bringing so many memories back. Mm. I'm trying to figure out what we're meant to be looking at. Is that meant to be like foliage, just like <laughs> rendered red? Or is that meant to be a body? It's probably like really fucked up things with loads of uh, effects on it. So you can't really tell what it is to make you feel uneasy. Yeah. I was correct something I said earlier. I said Ed Neal was the serial killer is based on. It's not. Ed Neal is one of the actors in this film. That's why I oh. <laughs> the serial killer is called Ed Gein. Ed, Ed Gein. Gein. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Sorry, Ed Neal. You're not a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't wear women's faces. <laughs> oh, this was based off Ed Gein. Yeah, no, mm. he, he wasn't much of a, like, I don't know, like, slasher killer. Yeah, he, did, he was a product killer, wasn't he? He just wanted the face mm. and the skin. He made like lampshades out of faces and mm. stuff. Skin. Ooh. Okay, someone call Peter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be allowed nowadays, would it? Nah. It's probably real. It, it is a real armadillo. Wow. Well, they found it as Roku, didn't they? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's film this up great. It's Texas, they're everywhere. House. <clears throat> hmm. I think that kind of looks like the mystery machine. <laughs> I forgot how, um, not silent, but we're, we're probably like, like close to five minutes in yeah. and usually i mean again this as you said it's a movie from the 70s so it's probably take it put they, a lot of them tend to take their time setting mm. the scene which makes sense i guess it's really interesting wow 
Why is he peeing in that? He's outside. When you got to go, you got to go. But you're outside. Just pee on the floor. Well, I guess because he's paralysed, like, yeah, it's wheelchair. probably a bit awful, oh, awkward yeah. him to... <laughs> yeah, but I mean, <laughs> like, shuffle your bum forward, mate. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Off he goes. Oh, we shouldn't be laughing. No, but I, mean, I, mean, I was thinking much worse. God, he's rolling a lot. Oh, and the chair him. Oh, at least, it, at least his pants didn't get his feet. <laughs> at least it didn't come out. <laughs> Nearly did. Because I was, I was thinking like, oh, damn, did um, did he cut himself? Because <laughs> because he was holding a tin can. Mm. <laughs> oh, he's got a chocolate bar in his pocket. Damn! Look at that shirt. It's it's a, if, that, if, if that doesn't score the seventies, I don't know. God, look at those glasses. Old school, <laughs> man. Hexagon glasses. Or octagon. Never seen a group of people that look like they're from Texas more. <laughs> Howdy. Bring it here, Fred. Seen shit. <laughs> I see things. Damn, you bet he's glad he finished his beer. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I'm getting, I'm getting I'm getting Fred Jones vibes from this guy, <laughs> <laughs> and that's clearly Shaggy, <laughs> and that's Vilma. <laughs> the whole Scooby gang. The crippled one is obviously Scooby. <laughs> <laughs> Best character to be, though. True. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Scooby That did not look healthy, that cow. Can't imagine the 70s health standards for animals was very oh, good. Oh, no, yeah. And he just got a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, actually, with Texas Chainsaw, did um, was it always just meant to be a one, one, a one and done film? Or did it get the sequel treatment? Mm. Well, because it was low budget, I'm sure they didn't really expect yeah. to get as much viewership as they did yeah and then because it became <clears> such a popular franchise they did another one because they had the money behind it <laughs> this guy's getting into it <laughs> <laughs> he's had a bad day that man damn he's really looking sweaty <laughs> it's all real sweat i'll bet yeah it's hot Have a funny shot, actually. Uh, <laughs> they're being dicks. Nice skyline, though.
Jesus. He really looks like James Franco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I can't unsee it. But he, d- he does and he doesn't. He has kind of the same face. Oh, I'm seeing it now. <laughs> Damn, he's like... <laughs> after, after Pineapple Express, things got tough. <laughs> What's that fucking picture's back? Uh, they shouldn't have given him a gun. Oh no. Oh, 70s blood. Still, still, still nerving. What did he use for blood there? Might be his own. Could be real. Yeah. Damn, imagine just seeing that. <laughs> Why did he fucking do that? Now he's like, what next? Best, best it's crazy. <laughs> a razor. Sweetie Todd would be proud. Sweetie Todd. (laughs) Always getting out the camera. (laughs) Quickly, when the flash goes, punch him. (laughs) And kick him out. Are you going to take the fucking picture? I, you're right. I, I can't unsee James Franco. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he gives him the photo and it shows him like as their person or something, that's fucking grim. Pay <laughs> <laughs> me. It's a picture of me.
Oh no, they hurt his feelings. It's gonna burn it. Oh, that's gunpowder. Gunpowder. Damn. Oh no. Oh, oh. Stop the fucking car. <laughs> Oh, don't slash that tire. Go, drive, drive. Drive! <laughs> oh, he's marked it now. Damn, this actor, he must have had fun doing this. <laughs> <laughs> This kids is why you should never pick up your chunkers. Yeah. Or if they start doing that shit, kick them out earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one good kick to the face when he was hacking the camera out. <laughs> and then they, they'd never see it coming. That shot there. I wonder if that was intentional because they, they they promised a friend, we'll put your book in the movie. <laughs> what year was this again? 74? Yeah. This is the old Billy of the Lake Stereotypical <laughs> gas station. Horror just, film. Is he just staring at the sun? <laughs> sun. Sun. Ooh, Coca Cola. And barbecue. <laughs> then again, considering the heat. <laughs> mm. Yeah, the coke. Give me the coke any day. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if any of these locations are still still there in Texas. I don't think yeah, that one is. I think that one's knocked down now. <clears throat> I don't know if they'll be the same way. I think there is videos on, on YouTube of people going around to the filming locations. Mm. And we guess it makes sense. And they all would have been real locations as well because they're low budget. They wouldn't have been set. Oh, yeah. So. yeah. I mean, if anything, they might still be there just like be completely refurbished. Mm. The actors in this are they? Are they? Were they? Were they big actors in that no. in their time? No, no, low budget. No. What a shot! <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting money shot. 
Mm. And again, it's the 70s. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a slasher movie. There's a lot more to come at that. Do that a lot in slasher films, especially. Bloody clean the knife, knife mate. I like that a little bit. Yeah. Just the mm -hmm. contemplation of like, could you generally do that to yourself? No. Because I mean, absolutely. Not, I mean, no. looking at my hand now, just like, I can't imagine doing anything that, that would in some way damage the skin to the yeah, point where yeah. you see blood. You should wash that off. Mm. Come on, Sally. Oh, what the off? You're gonna get pulled over by fucking cops, mate. And that's the worst thing you can be pulled over by in the 70s. <laughs> they shoot first and ask questions later. Well, actually, they didn't do much in the 70s, did they? That's why so many s serial killers got away with shit. <laughs> Took them ages to actually catch Ed Gein. Yeah, was it like over a decade or something? How many fucking people? I'm not it? sure. It was throughout his whole life. He only got caught when he was like in his 50s, 60s. Mm. I think he looked really yeah, old something in like that photo. <laughs> but he could just be stressed. Oh, look at that heat. The heat raises. I'm feeling hot just looking at that now. Yeah. <laughs> Texas Chainsaw, sponsored by Ford. <laughs> <laughs> and damn. Oh, man. yeah. I wonder what the lore behind that, how that's changed. Because it's low budget. They didn't get a sponsorship from Ford. They were just driving a Ford. I wonder if you can just have cars and vehicles without sponsorships. Maybe I guess it's... sometimes they just like uh, some are like okay you have we'll pay you to drive an Audi for this scene yeah yeah I guess it also depends how big the movie is and well, also they take the badges off a lot of the time in films don't they as well yeah they also do that yeah yeah, yeah. compared to today where they just put a blur filter over it yeah <laughs> CGI off yeah change it to a film one. <laughs> well, aren't you going to eat your sausage, mate? <laughs> I thought it was a cigar there, was it? Slow zoom in. <laughs> Really looks like a cigar. Yeah, it does, doesn't it?
they're in a haunted house. They drive a van, <laughs> <laughs> and there's a there's a bunch of them. <laughs> this this is Scooby Doo, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's what he was talking about. Black comedy. Oh, oh, oh. what are they? Daddy long legs. <laughs> I bloody hate spiders. <laughs> Their nests are horrible. Something out of a nightmare. Not spiders, though. They're not spiders. Are they? No. What, Daddy Longlegs? I don't think they count as arachnids. Cause they don't... What are they, then? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I just know they don't really count as arachnids. No. <laughs> they count as a type, but not spider, I think. Mm. Not classified as a spider. Interesting trivia. Piece of animal trivia there. <laughs> I'm waste, waste of a good sausage <laughs> there, mate. It's been eating that for weeks. <laughs> Poor man. Mm. It's been through it today, hasn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah. Got to say, I'm, I'm still kind of struggling with this one because it's been we're going in like half an hour now or something, and I'm enjoying myself because mm. I'm, I'm anticipating what's coming, mm. but I'm struggling to think of anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the movie, the movie speaks for itself sometimes. Yeah, it's good to like they've had a weird experience, showed they're in a weird place, mm-hmm. but. You know, it's building up tension. They, they're currently having their good moment, exploring an abandoned house. One of the friends typically knows what's going on. Is trying to warn them. That's usually what happens in like well, slashes, isn't it? You don't have to wait too much longer before <laughs> it starts getting. <laughs> Damn. I guess he's not a fan of the trip. I mean, he's not wrong, considering how, considering what they went through, what he went through. They just left him downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. And they're all having fun without him. You can feel the tension in the room. (laughs) Got their pretty shit friends. Yeah. Oh, and some bones. Moving bones. Oh, feathers in the wind. Oh, is that a dog? Or is that meant to be like a... It, oh, that looks a bit small for him. Oh, I don't know, actually. Yeah, well, I was, was going to say maybe a gator, but... Gator. <laughs> well. If they showed the skull again, I might be able to see, but they didn't. And it's gone now. It's too late. <laughs> Got proper prancing, aren't they? <laughs> well, you know uh, what they say: never have sex in horror films. Nah. Yeah. Well, you I don't die. think they know they're in a horror film. That's the problem. Well, <laughs> well they, they, they think they're in the seventies. <laughs> the, the the generation of young love. <laughs> well, that's crippled as Franklin now, isn't he? I wonder if any of these actors are still acting. Oh, no. No, I doubt it. I don't think any of them have big careers after this. Oh, really? A lot of them are dead now as well. Damn. Well, I mean, I can guess, I guess. Also, considering it was the 70s. Yeah. So I can imagine a lot of things. 
damn, that sun. Cool shot, though. Mm. Or cool tracking shot, I, I, I guess. As soon as I saw that, I'd get out of there. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is that? Don't. <laughs> oh, I guess they didn't notice it. I wonder. If, I wonder if that's meant to imply that was a camping site, and they they were like because of some other victims. Possibly, maybe. Well, Although, yeah, it was a tent like ripped up, wasn't it? Yeah, but then I would also question: Why would you park a tent right next to someone else's property? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And why would you hang up your kettle, <laughs> <laughs> or, or your or your watch, or or punch something through your watch? <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Ah, uh, yeah, I see where this is. Again, I'm 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 thinking of this based off like hindsight because we, cause, I mean, we all know. Yeah, the bad guys. Yeah, so uh, that's interesting. How it well, interesting. That's cool. How they're showing, like, oh, implying there's there people have been here before. Yeah, victims' cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wisconsin. God, imagine having to do scene after scene in that heat and retaking scenes as well if you need to. I mean, I am, I imagine <clears> they probably spent, what was it, like maybe three to four months doing this? It's been painful. And also, I think because, because it was low budget, they had to use like the same clothes and such. And I mm. imagine they didn't have, I mean, they probably would have had access to like washing machines and such, but I wouldn't imagine like every day. Oh, well, yeah. Oh. Is that a tooth? Yeah. Looks like a very tiny xenomorph skull. <laughs> Oh, I just noticed that. Well, literally just caught, for, caught up with me for a second. It, that, that tooth's got a filling on it. Ah. Her filling? No, no, it's got a filling on it. No, no. a filling on it. I thought you said her filling. <laughs> that would be creepy. That would be creepy. Yeah. But also, how do you know she had a filling? <laughs> how did it get there? <laughs> And if you look to your left, this will be the bedroom of Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Harry. <laughs> Things turned out quite differently. <laughs> Don't step into someone's house. Especially when you can hear that. Mm. Yeah, he heard knocking earlier, didn't he? Mm. Oh, he definitely heard it. It's the sound of the pig, isn't it? Mm. Well, it's a slaughterhouse. Oh! Ooh. God, not even a word. Proper fitting Just up. Absolutely slaughtered him. And the, the spasming. I can imagine... Viewers. It's a very famous shot. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Cool. The perspective on the house is great. <laughs> also, cool jeans. That house is now a, um, a barbecue chili restaurant. Oh, <laughs> really? Because obviously in the second one, it's revealed that they they kill and put the, the human flesh in the chili. Oh. So when you saw him eating the sausage earlier, it could could have been could be human. Wow, mm. that's why he didn't quite like it. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Never said, but implied. Yeah. Doesn't need to say sometimes. Yeah, I, 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 she's glistening with sweat. <laughs> yeah, it was about thirty-eight. Jesus. And yeah, I was just gonna say like Celsius, right? Yeah, I don't know what it is in yeah. The other just one. for context as well. Yeah, and I was just gonna say I imagine that's that first scene of Leather Face. I imagine like audiences must have been so shocked at seeing that. Mm-hmm. Like in less than a second, one of your main characters has been legend. Yeah. yeah. It's one hit and it was out. Also, all the bones used here are all real bones. Yeah. All of them. He got from, um, I think, a university. Oh, I spit syrup in there. <laughs> a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is very Ed Gein. Yeah. Oh, a bone. Oh. I would imagine this is exactly what it would have been. What his house looks like, yeah, there. absolutely. Except way less skulls and more. Ah, oh, that was actually an Ed Gein thing, wasn't it? He was. I don't know if that was like the exact, a, like the exact copy of it, but he did. He, like, he made chairs and furniture. Damn. I, I, I like might be that. thinking of a different serial killer, but someone was trying to make like a throne. It there. might be him. Oh no, I think I'm thinking of um, what was that Netflix documentary? That was done recently with that famous actor, the really famous serial killer. Bundy, Dharma. Yeah, no, not Bundy. Dharma. Yeah, Dharma. He was trying to build like an effigy, wasn't he? <laughs> Probably. No. They're all trying. They're always trying to build something. <laughs> <laughs> all of them were product killers, the scariest ones. All of the soundtrack. Yeah, it's very um, raw, I think it's a good word for it. Mm-hmm. Gritty. Oh, it's, it's definitely contributing contributing to the unsettling feeling of the scene. Oh my god, that's horrifying. So I believe they did this bit in one take and that was the first time she'd seen him in Ooh. costume. So she had no idea what he looked like until he popped out Damn. like that just then. Did she know he was going to pop out then though? I'm not sure. Oh, oh I, I, I'm feeling that. So they retook. Oh, that is. Here we go. Oh. God, I'm having to see that one <laughs> strung up. But Leatherface isn't a killer like Michael or Jason, where they go out hunting. He's more because his mental capacity. He's only like protecting his yeah his house and his family. Right, that's, that's the difference, I guess, between him and the, him and other horror villains. And he's not like. He's not meant to be like invincible, is he? No. Like Jason, you can't. Oh no, yeah, no. He's not like no supernatural or anything like that. So if Leatherface ever fought Jason, Leatherface would die. (laughs) Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I guess I'd like to back. I'd like to back my boy Leatherface, but probably Jason. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I guess it depends on the situation. And you'd root for him. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. It just depends really on if he has the advantage because he has a chainsaw. (laughs) I guess. Yeah, I mean, it won't do. It won't do much against Jason though. No, but if he's he, got some Yeah, but if he cut his limbs off and then his head off and then just like buried him or just left left, left him left him apart, maybe he'd win. Wasn't it that they couldn't cut him though? 
I know skin's I, too hard or something. I don't know. I can't remember. What's that? Sorry, Jason. I, I know in some stories in some of his movies they he's had limbs severed or something. I mean, you I might be right. Yes, I'm just trying to figure out how because Michael Myers. They all blend into like one. Super <laughs> strong. As There's well, so many Friday films. Yeah. Uh, Michael Myers. Yeah, no, he's he he's come back from multiple. Yeah. yeah, he's the guy. Who, shot wounds and yeah, he's the guy who you. Ha- but he go, that's the difference with Michael Myers. He goes down when you shoot him, and then he gets mm. back up. Yeah, but no with ma- Jason, he just keeps going. Yeah, no, yeah. No matter how many times you try stabbing him, he's just gonna. You're always gonna miss a vital organ because he's yeah. just gonna come back. Mm. I'm not sure who it was, but there was a really famous like scene with a young boxer guy punches the shit out of him. Oh yeah, Jason, and he punches his it? head off. That that's um part eight. Uh, Jason takes Manhattan. Oh. Like the one in New York. <laughs> what a great scene that is! The yeah, guy squared scene. up to him. Like, yeah, to, yeah. Fair, fair too. That we got some great punches in as well. <laughs> <laughs> Came in with the hole. I'm pretty sure she died recently, but oh, pretty much up until her death, she always went to um, like horror conventions. She loved it, like yeah. meet and greets with her. She, cool. she just she loved it. Yeah, hers is quite an interesting story because well, it's his story because um, she is only in like she only appears in like two of the movies out of like because there's eight films, isn't there? So there's this one. There's number two, which is a direct sequel to this one. There's number three. It's called Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. It has nothing to do with the first two, and it's a completely different family. Uh, then there's number four, which is The Next Generation. That's the one with Matthew McConaughey. Oh, yeah. Renee Zellweger. Again, different family. Has no continuity. Has nothing to do with the other ones. Then you've got the remake, which is a remake. Then you've got the beginning which is a prequel to the remake. <laughs> <laughs> then you've got Texas Chainsaw 3D, which is a direct sequel to the, the original, ignoring all the others. Oh, yeah. I remember that. The um, that one. Then you've got the recent one that came out on Netflix, which is, again, a direct sequel to this one, ignoring all the others. Yeah. Um, so the, the continuity between these films is pretty much non-existent, apart from the first two. Yeah. Oh, it's, he's realised that they were going, how do, how, I completely missed that. How did he know to go to this house to find Well, him? it kind of time-lapsed a bit, so they haven't come back yet. And oh, he's okay. gone out looking for them. Because right. they haven't returned. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's interesting because she's only in... Well, I'm assuming like there's eight films or nine films. So n- no, no, no one... I don't know whether to say because it's a spoiler or not. <laughs> Maybe, but I just know that she's in like two of the films or something. She's in two of them, um, but not any. She's not in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part Two, which is also directed by Toby Hooper, who directed this one. He only directed the first two. Okay, but with that, with that situation, you'd think that she would be in more of them because she is like the star. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. But no, every new film was pretty much they forgot what everything that happened before it and just made their own version, I guess. One step in there. One more for the slaughter. <laughs> I mean, just look at him. He's he's clear textbook shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> Hippie. Oh, that's a good shot. Like, what used to be there? <laughs> Grab a weapon, maybe. This, I remember this bit shocked me when I first saw it. Yeah. This just springs alive. Oh. <laughs> God, he's good. I'm good. pretty sure that that was his again his, the first time he saw him yeah. so that was like a real scream there the 
that's what I love about Leatherface is he's more human so, than the so other ones. Gunnar Hansen, the guy who plays him, to prepare for the role, he basically went to a school for like disabled, mentally disabled kids. Okay. And spent days with them because mm. Leatherface is supposed to be like mentally handicapped, mental yeah. age of like a nine, ten year old. Wow, that's close up. Damn. I forgot what it, I forgot we got a good close up of the face. Yeah, it's, it still creeps me out a little bit. Oh, that face, that mm -hmm. mask is so good. Mm. So good. I actually think the scariest leather face is the one in the remake. Really? Just because he's like just this absolute beast. The absolute unit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's not I don't even... think I've ever seen any other than the first one, this one. Mm. And I've only seen this one, like, ages ago. Mm. And to be fair, let's, let's give this guy some credit. This guy looks quite intimidating. <laughs> oh, no, for sure, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, if, if I saw... No disrespect to uh, Gunnar Hansen. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. If I saw him walking down the street, I'm like, I'm just gonna <laughs> just going to walk on the other side. <laughs> well, as long as you don't go to his house. <laughs> he died um, quite recently as well, a couple of years back. Oh, that's a shame. Was he like very fond of the role? Oh yeah, he... again they pretty much all of them went to like horror conventions, did like panels at um, conventions and things. They all loved it. They loved speaking about it. Hmm. There's no like, yeah. I hate this bit of the film. It's just them screaming Jerry now for a good five minutes. Yeah. Jerry! I mean, I guess for the stoners out there, it was probably that equally intense for them. Yeah. <laughs> like we're, It's like we're there with the man. <laughs> it's like, oh well, yeah, it's been ten fucking minutes and he's mm. still screaming Jerry! <laughs> Yeah, it's a terrible idea. It's <laughs> the worst idea ever. It's like, you didn't nick the flashlight and leave me in the fucking darkness. Screw you. Damn, I get she's un she's clearly under a lot of stress, but I'm on his side. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's got his right. Like, stick together, especially considering it's fucking dark and your friends are missing. <laughs> yeah, one by one they've gone missing. No one's come back. And also take away the 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 slasher villain concept. You you saw a guy cut himself less than like ten hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? What else do you think could be out there? <laughs> it's not the place you want to be out at night. Mm -hmm. Wildlife alone would probably kill you. Sally. That's it, that shot that we just had of the the, the moon. Mm. I wonder where that originated from because I know it's like an easy, like simple shot to get for films, mm. and it's definitely a good establishing shot for like it's night now. Yeah, yeah. But I wonder where that originated from in film. Was that like a, a staple of horror movies where they had to show the night sky? Probably so werewolf. I'm not films. actually too sure on that one. Probably mm. werewolf films to show that the. It's turned mm. to a full moon. Probably, yeah. Makes my, that makes sense. And werewolf films date back like 
almost as far back as the first like zombie film. Yeah, like like twenties and thirties, like the early days of the horror in, in entertainment. Yeah, we can't see a bloody thing either. <laughs> Get back and push down. He's got a cool accent. <laughs> if they wind up back at the van, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember much of this, do you, Lennon? No. No, not at all. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's so sad. He can't move. It's brutal. Oh. That's a famous scream. Damn, again, again that, that came out of nowhere. But if you watch closely, you never actually see a shot of the chainsaw going in or anything like that. Yeah. It's all done off camera. Yeah, cl clever camera, camera mm. angles. Which makes sense, because they're using a real fucking chainsaw, aren't they? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Real chainsaw. Oh, what's terrifying about him is you can hear him yeah. coming, and it's really loud, so you feel like it's getting closer mm. behind you, even though he's probably kind of far away. Yeah. Oh, it's horrifying. During the filming of this scene, I know she got pretty cut up and torn by all the branches. Yeah. Like eventually, you'll see blood on her. I think most of that's real, where she's got cut up from all the. It's very realistic. All the thorns. Also, again, as this an is very dead by daylight. Mm. Yeah. And as an actor, this must be terrifying too. It's like there's no safety precautions, so you're just being chased by this guy, with this actor of a chainsaw. Oh yeah, and apparently on the set, he was he refused to speak to him because he he wanted to make him. He only to isolate himself so much. Damn. <laughs> Rip your hair out. Don't even bother. Okay, stop screaming. Be quiet and keep running. <laughs> Fucking hell, he's putting it in <laughs> now. He's, he didn't skip leg day. <laughs> no, he's noticed he's running towards the house now. Don't want to go in that house. It's the wrong house. Yeah, that ain't going to stop him. Get away from the door. Because he will cut that down. She's going to notice it's his house now. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of uh, bones. <laughs> That's it. Grandpa. Ooh. That's my Grammy Mar. <laughs> That's a cool shot. <laughs> I love his oh, it's terrifying. Oh, she's so close. Oh. Right up the stairs, yeah. Ooh. Oof. But you would, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, for sure. And you wouldn't. It's the only way out. Mm. Also, again, missed missed the, missed the moment, but I love how his little reaction there when she screamed at him, and he almost like did a like double backwards. Yeah, it's like, oh, you stole me. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, he's very. Um... I mean, I don't think he thought he, she was going to be like upstairs because mm -hmm. that's where his like family is. Yeah. Yeah, 
So he was probably like, shit, better kill her quicker. <laughs> I mean, as you said earlier, it definitely exemplifies he's more human. Oh, than yeah. Unnatural. Yeah. Because in his head, he's like, you've come to me. I haven't come to you. That's a, that's a cool He's just shot. protecting his property. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. what I like about him compared to other serial killers. Mm. I love that shot just now where he was running and the cameraman was following him. Yeah. This is a very, like, human... Well, very insane human way of, like, psychology. Mm. Just, like, where they protect... Someone's everything. chasing I, I love you. it, yeah. Mm. How far do you go? But, like, his motivations behind why he's killing them as well. Yeah, it's, it's like it's understandable rather than like Jason is just he's just a serial killer. Mm. Freddy is just a cunt. <laughs> uh, like there's so m- many where they don't really have relatable reasons. Not that this is at all relatable. Yeah, but I mean, like you can kind of get from realizing his mentality state why he's doing what he's doing. You know. He doesn't understand that they're not here to like hurt his family. Oh my god, he's so close. That's horrifying. Back to the house. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so close. Yeah, she's definitely got special final girl powers. Back to the gas station. That's it, Neil. Not yeah. the serial killer. <laughs> He's not a serial killer. Oh. Close the door. Nah, something. Yeah. Oh, it's just that old crackly radio as well. It's creepy. Yeah. I feel like it's just going to be in the doorway when she looks back. Are those meant to be people? Oh, don't, she's think, don't, don't think just any people. I think that might be her friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm. oh no. Oh, she's starting to realise he's in on it. Mm. Oh, fuck. Damn, she's selling it. Yeah, she's just kind of like losing her mind. Is he in on it? I, don't, I can't tell now. So I'll wait and see. Could just be an innocent man. Just innocent men. <laughs> <laughs> just innocent men. Just men. <laughs> she um he is really hitting her there. She's really? she's talked about this on many occasions. She got beaten the crap out of with that from oh, like, for real. Damn, damn, because that's that 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 sounded like cartoon sound mm. effects there. No, he was proper slapping her with it. Oh. Oh no, that yeah, that's skin contact mm. there. Yeah.
It's interesting how even this, even the background radio, which is I'm assuming like just like coincidence because it's that was in the room at the time, it wasn't part of the soundtrack, but even that adds to the scene of like mm. the location, the atmosphere, and oh, the it's intensity. Very country Texas vibe, isn't it? Yeah, so it, add, it adds it adds to just the feel. It makes it that much more mm. intense to continue what is going on, what's yeah. playing on screen. Because to this to this guy, he's it's just like n- normal day. Yeah. <laughs> more, more, more barbecue chili for me. <laughs> yeah. There's too many limbs attached to that at the moment. It's going to send it off to the slaughterhouse. Good old Ed Gein. I can't, I can't wait to play him in wow. the game that's wow. coming out in a few months. Texas Chainsaw game. There's a game coming out. Made by Gun Interactive, who made the Friday the 13th game a couple of years ago. Wow. It's but they're cool. very... They they love horror films. They know exactly what they're doing with the IP, and they put loads of little things in for the for the for the hardcore fans, basically. Mm. Um, and they're making a, a three versus four, three killers versus four survivors um, online. It seems a bit outnumbered. <laughs> well, apparently they've they've figured it and made it in a way where it's not, and it works. God, so that's we'll a good see. scene. Ooh. The way the light shined on him just then. Yeah, yeah, that's like a very uh, almost monstrous angle. Yeah, it's amazing how you can just make a person look so intimidating, or sometimes even not natural, just based off the mm. lighting and the angles. Yeah. yeah, I had a photo taken a few years ago where it was just me and my family smiling, and I never realised until after I looked at the photo that shit, I kind of look like I've got evil eyes right there. <laughs> It's like he keeps realising he's doing a bad thing. Yeah. The way he keeps stopping there. Then, mm. like, his face changes. You can tell he's got mental problems as well. He's done a good job acting that out. Mm. He's only known as the cook in this film. He's never given a name. Just the cook. The cook. Damn. Uh, the hitchhiker is never given a name either. He's just known as the hitchhiker. Good. Speaking of, the ah. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. So he's the one that put the body up at the beginning. Mm. Okay, and that makes that makes sense because the the family, well, Leatherface and him now, they're they're pretty much just about staying as themselves, staying of their own term, their own territory. Mm. But this guy's he's been a bit of a wanderer, so he's clearly like he's still done his thing, but he's done it outside of their their familiar territory. Yes, he's very much the more sadistic one. He knows what's going on. He's he's pretty much the the head of the house, head of the household. That must have been stressful trying to act with a sack of your head. Yeah. <laughs> and also, yeah, like, I'm just like screaming, like, for God knows how many takes. Now we see a slightly different leather face. Oh, do we? Oh, yeah, he, he changes masks, doesn't he?
So are they family to him? Are they his family? Yeah, that's Leatherface's brother. Ah, uh, that's who. It's about. never really fully explained who's who. <laughs> you ruined the door. He's like, he's like he's trying to think of something to complain yeah, about. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty much from here to the end of the film, the actress Marilyn Burns is pretty much losing her mind for for real. She said. Wow. From the bit where she was in the house from now to the end, she wasn't really acting. She was kind of just losing her mind. It's almost like a fever dream, isn't it? Mm. So apparently he, Leatherface, because of his T-shirt, they only had one of it, and it was dyed, which means they... Which means they couldn't wash it. Yeah. So apparently he smelt so bad that people were literally physically vomiting. Oh, really? Because of how bad he smelt. Bearing in mind it's also 38 yeah. degrees, so that he's going to smell pretty bad. Yeah. Um, and this whole scene now was filmed from back to back for 36 hours straight, because that's the only thing they had the budget for. 36 hours? Um, and the smell was apparently so bad and it was so hot and the meat on That's the table... That's probably why she was losing her mind. Yeah, the meat on the table started literally, because it was so hot, um, rotting within minutes of it being on the table. Wow. Mm. Rotting or cooking? Rotting. It was like going oh. mouldy. Like oh. Flies were like swarming in. That really adds to the aesthetic. And that's, this why, is and why, that's why she was losing her mind, because she was like, I just want to get this finished. This is horrible. Damn. I'm glad she got through it, though. You're, you're right, you're right, then. And like, this entire... I mean, it sounds like it's crazy, but all the everything going on behind the scenes, but it's just it adds so much to the movie. Oh, for sure, for sure. Oh, that's horrifying. It's the grandpa coming down, who was played by a 20-something. Can't remember exactly how old he was, but in his 20s. I think, yeah, I think I know about this scene because of the one true fact I do know about this movie. And Is it where she, uh, I'll, I'll wait, for, I'll wait for the scene. Yeah. <laughs> Stop getting ahead of yourself. Yeah, no, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the guy playing the grandpa, apparently he was just literally dying because that prosthetic was so big and so hot. Yeah. I didn't realise he was actually alive. I thought he was a corpse. <laughs> no, no, he's he's somehow alive. Yeah, it's this bit. Um, as we're about to see, um, they, they, I think they kept messing up the take. So the director just said, "Just do it." Yeah. So yeah, they generally, they generally just yeah. had to cut her they finger. Just cut her finger. Yeah, that is as, true. So her reaction here was genuine. Yeah. Oh, that's gross. But he didn't know. That that's what happened. So he didn't realise he, it's she, real blood. Yeah, yeah, he was pissed after. <laughs> yeah, that could have been HIV yeah. or AIDS or anything. And she, and she said after she got like so, she kind of went so insane that she was kind of convinced that they were actually filming like a real snuff film and they were going to kill her. Oh, <clears throat> Jesus! I mean, I mean, yeah, you would pass out after yeah. that. All that. God, that's dedication. Wow. God, I bet she was so relieved when they said cut. <laughs> <laughs> cut. Cut. Uh, we're up into pieces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. It was just a dream. <laughs> oh, 
So this bit was filmed pretty much in the same 38 hours stint. So she still lost it. Yeah. And then we get our third version of Leatherface with a third mask on. I want to see what it looks like without Which it. is known as kind of like the, the transvestite Leatherface. Wow. Damn, they're screaming. It's almost mm. like he's dressed up as the mum or something, mm. or the nan or something, to like fill a role. And God only knows what those sausages are. Oh, damn, that face. It's a lamp, isn't it? Yeah. Bite him, bite him. It's interesting. He doesn't he doesn't kill anyone. Yeah. Oh boy. She looks like she's actually going insane there. No, she is. She really is. Damn, those sound effects. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Oh, that's very unsafe. I'm surprised the camera could even get that close. Yeah. Yeah, he, he keeps like starting to laugh and then stopping. Yeah. Thinking about what he's doing and then starts laughing again. Yeah, see? Mm. I forgot that. I forgot he was still there, the granddad. The granddad. God, yeah. he must be absolutely sweating <laughs> his bollocks off. Oh. Sounds like a mix between a chalkboard and a brick. Mm. And glasses. Yeah. Together, yeah. He looks like he's about to die. What do you mean? I wonder if there's a story there, maybe. The prequel mm. to the Texas Chainsaw.
God, I'm surprised she still has any... I mean, her throat must be, like, sore. Oh, yeah. She also did get hit for real over the head with a hammer in this bit. Ooh. What, because it accidentally drops? Mm. Ooh. That's probably when she thought she was going to die. Yeah. Oof. Oh, stay like go, go. <laughs> Just run, run. I mean, she's been sitting down a long time. She's probably got dead leg. Yeah, pins and needles. Yeah, seem in any rush to That's go. the again. last of her concerns at the moment, the dead leg. Yeah. She will be dead if she don't keep moving. <laughs> oh, oh, that's damn. terrifying. Uh He's just playing with her, yeah. Ooh. Slicing her back. Oh. Oh, this bit this bit's satisfying. <laughs> Goodbye, cool. Chica. Uh, here we are, the un an unsung hero. <laughs> He's like, fuck oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> well, he should have gone for the window. <laughs> Round the other side. And he grabs a weapon. Smart. <laughs> you don't know what he's just come across. You can't believe it. He doesn't seem that worried, though, does he? <laughs> He's about to get a headshot in a minute. Oh. Ow. Damn, again, that guy, legend. Yeah. <laughs> he saves the hero, and he, ch he fights back, and then he runs. He's like, yeah, you fucking run, mate. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I might do the same. <laughs> Oh, is he turning around? Okay. Okay, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank God. This bit in a minute where she's just laughing in the back. That's when she was like, like generally, that was just where I just lost it. I was I didn't know where I was. I just lost it. The famous chainsaw, chainsaw dance. dance. Yeah, thank God for this. It's a good Samaritan. I mean, damn. Yes, you would. You would be like eccentrically happy after that. <laughs> yeah. Such a weird cut off as well. That too. <sighs> wow. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Wow! I mean, what a film! Wait, 
Is there... We should talk about the film. Oh, yeah. Well, while the credits are going. You think so? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you were about to say, is that a post credit scene? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know it's not. But unless you want to stop it here, it's up to you. It's okay. We can. We can. I thought I said Ed Gein then for the cattle truck driver. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the serial killer, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. What's your thoughts, Kobe? Oh, God. Wow. I mean, it, it's all come back to me now, but I, like, I, I, do, I do love it when you forget about a lot of stuff in a movie, mm. so you can just like, almost experience it again for the first time. Yeah. Because I remember. It's been a long time. For me as well, I've not. I've only seen that film once and too long ago. Mm. I mean, I, I can't really. I'm trying to think of the right words to say. It feels. It, I mean, it, it. It. It's everything you expect from a '70s yeah. horror film on yeah. a low budget, but <coughs> everything about it works so well with what they had, mm. and I'm. Um, no, it's a no. It's no wonder. That this film became an icon in in the horror mm. culture because banned in the UK for a very long time. <laughs> that make that makes sense, <laughs> <laughs> and it's I've always I I really love the I love how everything was just building with the atmosphere. How you at points it felt because it starts off quite slow. I won't deny mm-hmm. that there were points where we, we, the characters were just reacting to certain scenarios or locations. There wasn't much dialogue, and you think that can get boring. But after a while, it's you slowly start to feel a sense of dread just building, especially after the hitchhiker scene, and then it just it all just comes together with just the shock moments. That because that's yeah. generally how it. Yeah, and then as soon happen. as it really starts, it really ramps up. In yeah, what yeah. the fuck is happening? Yeah, yeah, and it doesn't stop. It's like it doesn't oh, give no. you a chance to breathe. The at last all. half an hour is just pure screaming. Yeah, mm. which is exactly how it should be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I can say. Overall, for me, I'm just well. First off, thank you, thank you, Flower, so much for recommending this movie. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I hoped you enjoyed it. Oh yeah, I definitely enjoyed it. I'd, I mean, again, I don't watch a lot of movies like this a lot, mm-hmm. but I can really appreciate them when they're good. And this is definitely a good film. I, I don't think I'd watch it every year, <laughs> <laughs> but. I can't deny that if I'm having a marath- a future, if I, if I ever have a horror marathon, mm. he's definitely going to be included because yeah. it's it's such a good film in in just how it's all done, really. Yeah. Mm. How how about you, Lennon? What's your thoughts on the movie? Well, it's been so long since I've watched it that it was pretty. It was almost like watching it again for the first time. Um, but it was wow! What a phenomenal such a film that is. I'm not gonna lie. That's it's definitely my favorite slasher because I'm I'm not a massive fan of slashers because I don't I can't like I can handle gore. I just don't think it's very scary. Right. Like, so like the saw films, I don't think are very scary. They're just very, it makes me very squeamish. Yeah. Like it, it's the kind of reaction to the to the violence is what it's trying to get out of you. But I prefer like scare the crap out of me kind of horror films. Mm-hmm. You know, like uh, I really like found footage films mostly because it's a lot of jump scares a lot of like edgy seat kind of stuff it feels real but for a slasher this is phenomenal mm. like it, it goes they definitely did a really really good job with the effects especially with that low budget oh mm. for sure I'm yeah so impressed yeah i like i didn't realize that the face changed face I, yeah i actually times. didn't realize i forgot that he changed masks I, I i know i know he had like the signature mask but I know I again as you I completely forgot that he had variations, <laughs> and 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 there's a story behind that, right? There's like it's like tied in with his like personality and such. Yeah, yeah, he's got yeah. That's well, there's theories that he's like split personality and things like that, mm, and he's right. showing it through the well, all the through the mask. personalities that he split into all love chainsaws. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he'll never let go of that chainsaw. <laughs> so. How about you, Flower? What are you? What are your thoughts on the movie? Well, I love it. It's my favourite. Um, I love all of them, to be honest. Even though there's probably only like technically two or three good ones in the whole franchise, but you can appreciate it. Oh yeah. Um, the second one, the the one that came out a few years after that one, the direct sequel that Toby Hooper discovered, it's very more slapstick comedy. Um, like he kind of was talking about with the first one, whereas I don't see it at all with the first one. 
Mm -hmm. I don't see any yeah, dark, dark, dark comedy. Dark comedy? Huh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> she found it funny at the end. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah um, but yeah, I mean, I love it. It's my favourite. It's my favourite horror film ever. And I think it still still holds up, even though it's 50 years old. Fucking hell. God, yeah. 50 wow. something years old. I mean, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. Gotta say, this one's been interesting and it was fun. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. yeah. So for, for you listening, I hope you enjoyed that equally as much as we enjoyed watching it. Got to say, I'm <laughs> I'm curious to see how this one will will fare because I'm again I went in completely blind for this one outside of basic knowledge that I knew from like five years ago. <laughs> yeah. So I'm curious to see how this one will, will be, but I can't deny I had fun. Good. Yeah. So I, and that's I, at the end of the day, that's all you want from a good watching watch of a movie. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's a fun film, for sure. And hopefully you'll be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, you're I don't know if I will. <laughs> you're, you're saying that to the guy who listens to horror podcasts every day. <laughs>